And is it a true reflection of the education they're getting? Well, it's certainly a marker. And Ofsted's annual report reveals that 89% of schools in the region were judged to be good or outstanding. 95% of primary schools in Surrey were rated good or outstanding, compared with 68% in Bracknell Forest. Now, on the Isle of Wight, only 56% of inspected secondary schools were deemed good or above. Yet this still reflects a marked improvement in education on the island. One school there has been singled out for praise for the way it is successfully supporting pupils. Brani Leyland has more. Salgo con mis amigos. So then how would we say... Two years ago, only ten children at Cowes Enterprise College were taking a language at GCSE. Now it's 180. Hace calor. Perfect. A new ambitious curriculum is at the heart of this school's success. Ofsted says leaders have transformed it from being in special measures to a good school, where children from all backgrounds do well. On an island where children from poorer families have lagged behind their peers, that really matters. Head of Languages Vicky Leonard relocated from London to help make a difference. Having worked in London, which is often seen as perhaps a more, more obvious um, disadvantaged area, particularly in some boroughs, coming here and being able to work with kids who also really need that support, need someone to believe in them, it's amazing how they respond here to encouragement. All the teachers are very kind and supportive and they help you if you need it. It's not definitely not easy, but it's not seriously difficult. It's just that much higher that improves your work. The school's mission is to level the playing field so that no matter what background children come from, they can enjoy the same opportunities, whether that's taking part in a public debate, seeing a Shakespeare play, learning to play chess, or even learning how to sew on a button. The wide range of experiences pupils can expect is set out in the Children's Charter. Ofsted says while other schools in the region are often not giving enough support to children with special needs, pupils here are making strong progress. We have a, a very clear remit around special needs. We look to make sure that children are considered as absolute individuals and that we know them inside out. We're a wholly inclusive school and we do everything we can to give children with special needs a bespoke curriculum and bespoke support that means that they can really achieve at their very best. While A-level student Jess makes lovely music by improvising, the staff here have a very definite plan as they aim to help all children reach their potential. And Bryony is here with me in the studio. So an improving picture on the island, Bryony, but what about the rest of the region? Well, there are positives. Ofsted says that the vast majority of children in our region go to good schools, but there are concerns too. Now, we saw there at Cowes Enterprise College, children who do have special needs or they're from disadvantaged backgrounds are getting the individual support they need. Ofsted says that's not happening at enough schools. There's no quick fix and each school needs to find its own solution. It's really about getting the basics right. It's about looking at what the barriers are to learning for those particular pupils and actually ensuring that the, what the school does is, is meeting the needs of those pupils. But ultimately, if the school is focused very hard on getting those things right, getting teaching right, getting the curriculum right, and as an eye to those pupils and the needs of those pupils, then that will go a long way to ensuring that, that the school does well for all its pupils. Now, teaching unions say that funding pressures are making it increasingly difficult for schools to meet those individual needs of children. The Department for Education says we have a robust education system and it says it will work with Ofsted, schools and local authorities to address the issues which are highlighted in today's report. Brani, thanks very much. It caused daily